Hi guys, so I'm actually moving. So I will be taking all of my fountain pens and my fountain pen supplies on a plane. So this video is going to be how to pack your fountain pen supplies for the plane. I've put all of the pens that I want to bring in this one box. I'm not gonna be bringing the other cigar box that I showed you guys previously because I just, I really don't have enough space in my luggage. I'm packing um, everything I own into two big suitcases and um, bringing them across the states with me. So this is what I'm going with for now. And this cigar box has all of the ink I own. So, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna let you guys know exactly how I'm going to be doing it. So these two will be packed in my um, check-in luggage and basically all of my pens. These are all of my fountain pens and one or two just nice ballpoint pens. This is just everything that I've decided to take, which is most of my collection, but I have left a couple for my sister because I got her into fountain pens as well. I'm gonna have to wrap all of this really well so that I feel secure and these don't break in my luggage because they do kind of throw those around. And this sailor box I'm going to put the pens that I want to carry with me on my carry-on, so I'll have them with me just because I know I'm going to want to journal on the plane. So I actually already have two pens in here. This is the Sailor, of course, and this is my vintage Parker Duo Fold. I'm thinking about kind of putting some fabric in between here so that they don't scratch each other. And then there is... A kind of compartment here that can fit some pens as well so I'm going to bring a ballpoint pen this is a cross gold filled ballpoint pen so I'm going to bring this just in case I don't want to take the chance and write with a fountain pen wherever I am and for my other pen that I can fit in here I think I'll bring my vintage waterman 51 i think i could probably survive with just these pens you know if something drastic were to happen which i doubt it will but i think you know these are probably the three fountain pens that i would really really be um the most worried about let's just say that when using a fountain pen um, on the airplane, there are some issues that come into play because of the changing air pressures in the cabin. So if you do want to bring your fountain pens on the plane, then there are some precautions that you would want to take. First of all, I would like to say that everything that I'm putting in my carry-on, all clean and um, uninked, so there's not going to be a problem with spillage in my carry-on because with that, you really you don't have it on hand so you can't control what happens with those the best case is really just to empty these and as for the ones that i'm carrying on the plane so the most danger for ink spillage is when the plane is ascending so um when you're taking off basically because of the changes in the pressure and the air pressure um it will cause the air to expand in your ink compartment. So it could cause the ink to come spewing out of your fountain pen. I think generally these days, the technology in the air pressure cabins of the airplane is improved. So there probably isn't too much of a drastic change that could happen. Um, and some people report no problems with flying with fountain pens at all. But just to be on the safe side, um, maybe bring some tissues if you're going to bring them. And they say that um, if you are going to bring your fountain pens, then you want to tilt them so that the nib is facing up. So that even if the air expands and the ink wants to spill out a little bit, there is like some space for the air to expand before your ink will just like spill out of your nib and feed if you face it up this way instead of like let's say horizontal or like 
the worst like this so i will be doing that at first i wanted to just remove all the ink from all of my fountain pens because i didn't want to deal with the spillage but the second way to reduce um the possibility of a spillage is to fill up the cartridge or whatever to maximum capacity so there's not as much air in there so it won't have as much space to expand um so that's what I'm going to be doing with these three since I'm going to, well, maybe just these two actually because this one isn't even restored. So I'm really just bringing it with me so I feel a little bit safer um, that it'll be undamaged. But as for these two, I will be filling them to max capacity and, um, you know, us fountain pen addicts, I'm so used to just writing with fountain pens that... I think I'll be a little sad if I have to write with a gel pen in my um, journal because my entire journal is just fountain pens. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hopefully I don't have any sort of spillage or any issues, but I might be filming some short clips, maybe like a little vlog of me journaling on the plane because I will be doing that for sure. So that is going to be on my carry-on. I have this little t-shirt scrap that is left over from actually doing this. It was my little um, cigar box restoration sort of video um, where I just put in some fabric so that the fountain pens would stay unscratched. And I'll just put this in between these two pens so that they stay protected and unscratched. Let's see if I can just this in over here and I think I'm okay with that yeah I think that'll be good enough for um, my needs and maybe I should put something below here as well uh, I think it's fine I'm satisfied with this and it'll be in my bag so I can watch it and make sure it doesn't get shaken around too much. There we go. It closes nicely. Okay, so now for these. I will be wrapping them with some fabric. So first of all, I think some of these still have some ink in them. So I'm going to clean them out and then I will be right back. Sorry about the change in lighting. But now I have all of my fresh cleaned out fountain pens in this box and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to wrap my ink towel my ink rag around the pens so that they're a little bit more cushioned and safe so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this yet but let's just see and then these two I don't care too much about I'm fine with them just being like that closes nice and tight so I think that's perfect honestly I think keeping them in these boxes where there's there's like no space for any movement really helps a lot too so they won't be as you can see there's no shaking at all it's like really stuck in there so I feel pretty comfortable with um, this just being in my check-in luggage. I think this should be okay and it's going to be um, kind of stuck really tight in between all of my other things as well. So I think that's good enough for me. I just really sloppily folded it as you can see and just stuffed it in this box and honestly I think that'll be fine. So. These small 30 milliliter bottles are all plastic, so I'm not too concerned about these. I'm just going to tighten the lids just a little bit. 
as I said, I'm going to be bringing my Sailor and as well as my Parker 51. So I'm just going to ink this up the most that I can right now because I am going to be packing away all my ink. So the Sailor I'm still using as of now. So I, I'm going to decide what I want to do with that in a second. But I'll just show you guys me inking up my pen with this Diamond Red Dragon. I thought it matched pretty nicely. As you can see, there was still some more ink in there. I don't mind too much. I'm just going to leave it soaking in there, give it some time, and I'm going to redo it about four times. I think that's good enough. I'm going to try not to write with this pen anymore, just so that I don't have to worry about re-inking it again. Since, as I said earlier, you either want it to be empty or inked to its fullest capacity. So, I feel pretty good about that one. Once again, I'm going to make sure the lid is on really tight. And as you can see, my three glass bottles are still in their boxes. So, that gives it also a little bit more um, protection. So, now with this pen, I want to keep using it in the meantime. So, I might just take um some ink with me and leave it out so i'm trying to decide between steel blue or emerald i think i'm gonna go with steel blue so this is a 30 milliliter bottle as i said so i can actually just take this in my carry-on so i might just do that instead so i don't have to fuss with um bringing a whole nother bottle and you know exchanging that so I think I'm just gonna actually take this out and keep this in my carry-on with me on the plane so then I'll be able to ink up my pen. I totally could just empty out this pen and re-ink it. So, and I actually have these cartridges, these sailor cartridges, so that actually might be an easier bet just to empty this out before I get there or before I get on the plane and then just pop in one of these sailor cartridges to write with um while i'm on the plane so maybe i'll do that instead that's probably the safer bet i just i don't like black ink so i'd, I'd much rather write with a funner ink um but i might just go with that instead just because i actually do still have quite a lot of ink in this and it's actually a different color and i wanted to switch it out but that's too much of a hassle. I might as well just go with the ink cartridge. So I completely take back everything that I just said. Let's just ignore that. And I'm going to start wrapping this with um, my other ink rags. So I think, should this be here? Kind of like that better, I think. Okay, I'm just going to try to... Fill in all the gaps mostly so that it just can't um, fling around everywhere. Once again, I'm going to just make sure that all of the bottles are tightened. So I'm just going to take this out, tighten the cap. Then I'm just going to wrap this bottle. So there's a little bit of a tight squeeze here. I'm just gonna stuff it in where I see fit. I think that's fine. So there's this big thing which I can't fit in there. I might just cut off a little square and then call it a day. So here's my little um, rag. And I'm just going to really stuff this in here all that matters to me is that it fits really okay. 
Okay. And that is perfect. Like this, the none of the bottles should be rattling or anything like that. Okay. Great. The only thing that's jiggling is the, the liquid. So that's really it. Now all I'm going to do is just keep my little pens in my carry-on and then my pens and my ink are all um all packaged i'm gonna put these in my check-in luggage and that's it i will let you know if there's any sort of damage or um i'll definitely make a video on riding with fountain pens on a plane when i actually go on the plane and film that so i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please like this video and subscribe Thank you for watching. Bye.